Hi viewers, welcome to this small tech server. In this video, I was showing the continuation of the previous video. So this was the question: X match or match, and this number is this number match the solution. So I have showed you there is a batch one, and there are some numbers in this, and there is a batch two, and there are some numbers. So when I get a batch three, I just wanted to check that is the numbers reoccurring or there is a duplication from the previous batches. So, so that we is not we are not even using XLOOKUP. We just want to check these batches. So I have done the X match formula, and I got these two, and I got a match formula for batch two, and here I got these two numbers. So when these numbers were combined, so in the single for single column, you can see that only batch one is reflecting. And this, then we change the formula to X match. And in X match, I'll show you here in X match in the batch one and batch two. Again, the same thing was done. The same again the formulas and combined. And you can see that same thing was repeating in match formula or X match formula. And then I have done if formula. Then then I divided the if or the match and I have done or formula and then. I have tried so much, so many formulas that I was not able to get the right answer. Then I did something in my mind and I came to know there's something in is number match or is number x match. So I'm going to show you both ways how to do that. So this is going to be the video on both. First, let's, let's start this for the batch one. So I'm going to just do this for the batch one and then for the batch two. With each number. So now, if you take this and you want to combine one, so let's start with each number. So equal to the formula is not match, it's going to be each number. Open the parenthesis, then we have to add a match. Open the parenthesis and do the lookup. And the lookup array will be in the batch one. So I want to log this into F as F4. In the match type, I want to make it zero and I'm going to close the parenthesis. So it's giving me a false. So this is giving me a true. True in the sense this is available and this is available and nothing is there. So I'm going to do this for batch two also. So this will be like equal to this number. Open the parenthesis. Match again from the parenthesis, look up value will be here, comma, and the look up will be for the batch two. So I'm going to select this column F4, comma, and it's going to be an exact match. I'm going to close the parenthesis. So you can see there is two true here. So I think this is the two ones. So now I want to combine both of them. So the best thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula. Control C, escape. And I'm going to paste this another comma here. I'm going to paste this. Now I'm going to add an if condition. So if I add an if, this logical test, I want the value to be true over here. So if this is for the batch one, you can see batch one, then I want the answer as in batch one, close the parenthesis and put a comma. Now this is a logical two, so I want to value in logical two, so I'm going to put a comma and double quotes and in batch two. So you can see that now it is showing both batch one and batch two together. The same way, if you want to remove this error, I'm going to put an if error. This error, and just you can see this to be provided, or we can make it as anything to be checked. So here, move up on the parenthesis, go to the end, put a comma, and I'm going to be checked. 
Enter. So now you can see that in, you can see here in batch one, in batch two, or together, and you can see it will be checked also. I want to remove, delete this. The same way also we can do for is, is number matter, the same formula. So I'm going to show you how to do the same in each number also is that just we can, you have to do is, the formula will be is number open and this will be x match. And again, it is going to be for the same here. I want to put a, put a dollar sign. This number, let me just read this first. That's right. I'm going to put this open parenthesis. Look up where you will be this. I'm going to put in a dollar sign to, and then I'm going to go to the batch one. I'm going to hit F4, comma, zero, close the parenthesis. So the same thing, I'm going to copy this here again. Control C. I'm going to paste it here again. And this time, I'm going to check the value not in batch one, so I'm going to change, change this to batch two. So either make, I can make this batch two, or if you are not able to do that, just you can go to batch two and select this, hit F4, hit a comma, and that max. Hit enter. So now I'm going to put an ifs in this. So let's start with ifs. So the value variable test over here, and I'm going to end it here. So I'm going to put a comma, put a comma, and then I'm going to put in one the parenthesis and put a comma. And this is going to be the value of the value two and the value of two, then I'm going to put here as in H. This is. So you can see the same thing. You can get the same answer here, and if just put an if error, if this is an error, then it will be, it will be you can see the same formulas we can do, and we can get the answer solution to the solution. So is numbers match is the solution. So if you have something like this in formulas and you are not able to get the answer, please use this formula, this number match instead of using match or X match. So this is all about this in the same video. I hope you understand this video. Please put, put your comments if you're not able to understand this. And let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you all.